New at 10, Pima County is at the center of Arizona's latest gun debate. The county is now being sued over a new ordinance that would require gun owners to report missing or stolen guns in 48 hours or face fines. But civil liberties group argue that the move is a clear violation of Arizona law. 12 News journalist Jonathan McCall is here live to break down the details. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, Curry, babe. Pima County says this ordinance was crafted with their county attorney as another tool to help curb rampant gun violence, often at the hands of the folks who they say aren't supposed to have guns in the first place. But gun rights supporters say it victimizes owners for a second time. Protecting rights. And it strictly prohibits cities and counties from passing firearm related regulations at the local level or protecting lives. And this is a significant public health and safety issue. Pima County now at the center of Arizona's latest gun debate. Item passes 4-1. Thank you. In March, the Board of Supervisors approving an ordinance that requires gun owners to report stolen or missing firearms within two days or face fines up to $1,000. Supervisor Rex Scott spearheading the idea and says the county attorney has discretion on how to use it. If you are a law-abiding gun owner uh, in, in Pima County, you have nothing to fear uh, from this ordinance. Scott says the new ordinance targets prohibited possessors, who he says account for a number of gun-related crimes. Well, oftentimes when guns are allegedly lost or stolen, uh, that's actually a cover for a straw purchase. Targets the victims of firearm loss or theft rather than criminals. The Goldwater Institute now suing the county. Parker Jackson is a lawyer with the organization. Ordinance is illegal because the board didn't have authority to pass it. That's because under Arizona law, local governments are banned from passing gun-related laws stronger than the state. Right now, there's no Arizona law requiring gun owners to report missing or stolen weapons. Jackson says this ordinance re-victimizes gun owners. That uniformity and that predictability is important uh, because those rights, again, should be the same throughout the state. But Scott says it's all about protecting lives. We're also uh, not interested in going after people who legitimately had a gun lost or stolen. So the lawsuit currently making its way through the legal system. We'll let you know exactly how this continues to play out in court. We're live tonight in the studio. Jonathan McCall, 12 News. Jonathan, thanks.